We're not gonna stop having sex. We're not gonna stop being horny. That's all, that's my promise. Who does Clug think he is? But yeah, I've got wrinkly skin and I fuck all the time. <laughs> I'm allowed! That's fine. So don't elect Clug Nugman. He's just trying to make me stop having sex. It's personal for him. Clug, Clug walked in on me and his daughter having really beautiful and energetic sex. More energetic than you'd expect from someone my age. And he came in and he said, no, 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 this can't be happening to me. Ah, ah. And he went on like that for a while. And then next, the next day he went on the news and he said he's going to stop the geriatrics from being so horny. Well, guess what, Clug Nugman? We're here. We're horny. And we're old. Get over it, fucker. We're the Gun Shooters. This is a new episode of Gun Shooters. There's three of us, and we all shoot guns at bad guys. I'm Jeffrey Gun Shooter. I'm Jerry, also Gun Shooter. And I'm Bob, Gun Shooter Smith. Jerry, Bob, and Je Jeffrey, Gun Shooter, one of them with the hyphen it Smith at the end. And we're all here to just totally shoot our guns and hurt bad guys. Let me tell you, Jeffrey, I'm excited because I got a new gun I've been dying to try out. Can you show me? Um, no. It's actually not allowed to be on TV. The gun's not allowed to be on TV? Are we still recording? I just was telling you personally, I was excited. I, I didn't want to do this one for the show. This is, uh, we're off. Turn off the cameras. I, I just oh, wait, oh, let me turn off the camera. Yeah, it's just I feel like we used to do this off camera and it was more fun, but now that we made it our job, it just feels suffocating. <laughs> is this not a scripted show? Is this a reality show? This is a real. Okay. Yeah. No, that's good to know. It just feels like my passion, my heart's not there anymore. We used to do the gun shooting thing, and it was uh, just the three brothers and brother-in-law or something. I don't know what. <laughs> Two brothers and a brother-in-law, and we we loved shooting guns. But now it's just like, oh, we got the sponsors giving us money, and you know that feels nice because I like money, but I just don't like losing that passion, my soul. Hey, Bob, gun shooter Smith, can you can you shoot this guy? <laughs> Yeah, but before I do that, can I just say, like, we had months of pre-production and months of planning before that where you had every opportunity to voice your opinion on this. And, yo, maybe I'm talking out of turn. I mean, I just, you just welcomed me into your family about two years ago. Thank you for the clarification on how on when you entered our family. Well, it's more for myself. My anniversary is coming up soon, and I don't want to forget. <laughs> Did you marry one of our sisters, maybe? Just trying to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> yeah, and you took her name. That's very progressive of you. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it seemed like the right thing to do. I don't know. We would have shot you if you didn't. It was the right thing to do. Yeah. Well, I mean... If, if, if my brother-in-law tells me to shoot my other brother-in-law, I guess I gotta do it, but I, I, I mean, uh... Hey, are you guys still rolling, or is this off? See, this is what I'm talking about. What's for the show? What's our life? What is my life anymore? It's, it's just all TV. The lines are blurred, for sure. The lines are blurred. I love you guys. I love Please you don't too. shoot hey, me. I love you, too. I love you, too. Please don't shoot me. I won't shoot Okay. 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 Thank you, guys. I'll shoot you a smile at the next family reunion. <laughs> okay, buddy. Hey, are you guys still rolling? No, we just cut. <laughs> we have with us today the star of the new film Turtle Fuckers, uh, Jake Turtlefucker. <laughs> Sorry, is that your real name? Oh yeah, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> coincidence that I had that name before I got the part in this movie, but yeah, I'm the star of the Turtle Fuckers film. Yeah, that's really incredible. Uh, this this film is really turning a lot of eyes. A lot of people are really into it. It's it's winning a lot of awards. How do you feel about all that? I mean, honestly, for me, I. Mostly just was excited to fuck the turtles. You just wanted to fuck the turtles, huh? And it wasn't even about the money or the fame for you. That's right. It was only about fucking the turtles. Were the turtles okay with being fucked? Oh my god, yeah. I, I added in my contract. I don't want to fuck any turtles that don't want to get fucked. Hey, That's... is this the guy that fucked the turtles? Get him! Get him! Get him. No, oh, fuck. I didn't realize there were people who were mad at me for this. Uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here so I don't get killed. And there you have it. Uh, Jake Turtlefucker has just left the building. Um, it looks like he's getting killed. And that's actually fantastic news because uh, Jake is part of the religion where he believes that when you die, you pass on and you uh, go to the realm of pixie dust and fairy lands where everything's happy and nice and you can fuck all the turtles you want. It's a religious thing! You know, it sounds like it's a really the best of all worlds for him now that he's dead and he gets Hold to... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta go. I, I'll see you later. Jesus Christ, don't let screaming guys into the set anymore.
Hey, hey, come over here. What's up? I gotta tell you something. What do you gotta tell me? No one followed you into the Obbies we're in, right? No, no one. Okay, Obbies has a brand new sandwich they want me to tell you about. What is it? Wait, you, you sound like you're copying my voice a little. If you, I'm with someone for a couple seconds, it just happens. You start copying their voice? Yeah. Well, that makes it very confusing, because commercials are usually designed to be heard from outside of the room, you know, so mm. it's just going to be confusing to know who's talking if you're doing my voice. Well, that's too bad. People should be smarter. Arby's. Meat sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, what's going on, Papo? I I I I'm just a tiny little Papo boy, you know. I'm, I'm a tiny little guy. I know, but like from what I'm seeing, you look like your shoes are on backwards. You, your T-shirts on back. You, what do you do? You're doing the crisscross thing. Is that from uh, the human race thing that we're? No, all... no, it's not. It's not. It's not the crisscross. From Atlanta, Georgia thing at all. I'm just trying, trying, I'm trying to figure out my life. All right, okay, stop wasting my time. We are here to advertise shirts, ties, suits. We guarantee it. You're gonna look good. Oh, uh, ow, ow, my shoes are on, ow, my shoes are on backwards. Yeah, we guarantee your suit will be on not backwards. All right, thank you so much. That's our commercial. Are you tired of your regular taking your pills situation where you have to put all your pills in like a first day through last day kind of container? Well, now there's a new solution. This company that I'm re representing here on this commercial has everything you need. We are pillpeople.com. We do have the internet here. It's pillpeople.com. I, actually, I don't know if I can say that. Maybe pillpeople.com is taken. Oh, it's for sale. For 1000 I'll buy it right now. I'll, bu I'll buy pill people right now. Dot com. Here we go. The, 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 the actor, you know, he's good, but he, he, he didn't know that we, w that we actually had to buy this website. I own it. <laughs> Close to two G's. I own it, though. Okay, now that we've secured the domain, and we're going to finish up this commercial. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I just want to say that uh, what we do here is we, you know, it's a it's a device that pops the pills for you. It's for pill people, and it's a pill people popper. If you want to know more information, go to pillpeople.com. Hey, all right, I'll see you guys at the bar. Buy me a drink or something. Come on. Go to pillpeople.com to understand all about pill distribution and pill taking information with this new revolutionary pill distribution method at pillpeople.com. Also, I just want to say, my child was kidnapped and I don't know where he is. Here, here's a photo of him. I know I wasn't allowed to do this and that's it. Okay, we'll, we'll just end it there. I just, I'm glad I got to squeeze that in. And of course, this is more about pills and people. Okay, thank you. Are you tired of boogers clogging up your nose? Well, don't do it anymore. Get spaghetti in there instead. That's right, spaghetti nose. Why put spaghetti in your nose, people say. Why, why, why? Here to demonstrate spaghetti nose, Susan. Um, it, it, uh, it's very painful. It feels really bad and it, I, like, my boogers aren't that much of a problem. Thank you. Thank you for that. You have ruined our <laughs> public image. We are not affiliated with Noodle Nose. Noodle Nose are a bunch of assholes. They took our ideas. Those spaghetti nose. Welcome to Pepperoni P Palace. I'm Pete, the pepperoni salesman, and we are we today. We have a great special. Get over here. Oh, come on. No, I, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'm gonna go ahead. And no, just... get over here. Sit down. Eat the pepperonis. Come on. Eat I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, my going. pepperonis. I'm Papo, the pepperoni no, boy. I, listen, I really. I know I, they don't I, look I, like pepperonis. They're very bizarre and strange looking. But just eat it. No, and, uh, I, I, stop. Uh, you no, just have let, to eat wait, it. Leave me. Be. Okay. I hold on. Hold on. Before you go. leave. Let me just finish my commercial. I'm Papo. This is my pepperoni place. Eat the pepperonis. Stop. And here we are. Hand it up. Hey, hey, listen here. I want you to meet my son. Hey, son, come out here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I want you to meet. I want you to meet him. He's uh, looking for a wife. Yeah, I really need a wife. Yeah, so he's five foot two. Mm hmm. Five hundred pounds. Mm hmm. Wears diapers. Mm hmm. 
and he's ready to marry. I'm ready to marry right now. Okay. It's been a long time since I've done anything with anyone, and I really want someone. Okay, that's it. See you guys. Bye. Oh, fuck. We forgot to oh, do contact. Is there a phone. number? Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, but we didn't oh, get... Uh, no, no, we're good. Okay. Okay. Bye, right, guys. Bye. Hello. I'm Darren Mindbanger. Everyone, gather around. I'm about to do a really crazy trick. What? We can't hear you. I'm about to bang your mind. Um, Show me what's in your pocket. Wh what are you doing? I will guess what's in your pocket. Get the fuck away from me. What, okay, what are you... I have a deck of cards. Get the fuck... And one you, of the cards you're... is marked with a signature. You're trying... You're like grabbing at me. My arms just kind of do whatever they want to do. Please go away. I'm... I'm daring my banger. Hey! Hey! Listen here! I want you to meet my son. Hey, son, come out here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I want you to meet. Uh, I want you to meet him. He's uh, looking for a wife. Yeah, I really need a wife. Yeah, so he's five foot two. Mm hmm. Five hundred pounds. Mm hmm. Wears diapers. Mm hmm. And he's ready to marry. I'm ready to marry right now. Okay. It's been a long time since I've done anything with anyone, and I really want someone. Okay, that's it. See you guys. Bye. Oh, fuck. We forgot to oh, do wait. contact. Is there a phone. number? Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, but we didn't oh, get. Uh, no, no, we're good. Okay. Okay. Bye, right, guys. Bye. Oh, man. What's going on, Papo? I, 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 I'm just a tiny little Papo boy, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm a tiny little guy. I know, but like, from what I'm seeing, you look like your shoes are on backwards, you, your t-shirt's on back, you, what do you do? You're doing the crisscross thing? Is that from uh, the human race thing that we're No, all... no, it's not, it's not, it's not the crisscross from Atlanta, Georgia thing at all. I'm just trying, trying I'm trying to figure out my life. All all right, okay, stop wasting my time. We are here to advertise shirts, ties, suits. We guarantee it. You're gonna look good. Oh, uh, ow, ow, my shoes are on, ow, my shoes are on backwards. Yeah, we guarantee your suit will be on not backwards. All right, thank you so much. That's our commercial. Hey, hey, come over here. What's up? I gotta tell you something. What do you gotta tell me? No one followed you into the Arby's we're in, right? No, no one. Okay, Arby's has a brand new sandwich they want me to tell you about. What is it? Wait, you, you sound like you're copying my voice a little. If you, I'm with someone for a couple seconds, it just happens. You start copying their voice? Yeah. Well, that makes it very confusing, because commercials are usually designed to be heard from outside of the room, you know, so mm. it's just going to be confusing to know who's talking if you're doing my voice. Well, that's too bad. People should be smarter. Arby's. Meat sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm the last member of this species coming here to tell you that I want to fuck another species. You see, 20 years ago, my whole species died off in a nuclear war. And I haven't been fucked since then, because I have this weird genital thing. But if you have something that is compatible with my little thing, if you want to look at it real quick, I'll show it to you from all angles. Here, you see it this way. Now I'm going to turn, and you see it this way. Now I'm going to turn. This is the front. This is the angle you saw initially. This is uh, the thing. This is how I would typically get fucked. And I just want somebody to fuck me. Thank you. Hey, listen, sorry to interrupt, but I'm not compatible with your genitals, but I, I quite like them. You like what you see? 100%. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you film? what is this? Are you filming a, what, what, what's with all the cameras? I'm sorry to interrupt. I put on this little sick little fuck show to get me fucked. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight on The Corpulent Gentleman. I do not recall <laughs> being at 
the scene of that accident. And quite frankly, I think it is uh, just an attack on uh, a free speech for corpulent gentlemen. I can't wait to see what allegations are in store for me next time. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Oh, oh, oh no. I booked all my dates for the same evening. Can I get some order? Can I get a side of order with this law? <laughs> How is a corpulent gentleman such as myself gonna get out of this one? <laughs> Does anybody have a lot of for my three cigars? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'll be right back. I gotta take a shit. <laughs> hey, hey, listen here. I want you to meet my son. Hey, son, come out here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I want you to meet. Uh, I want you to meet him. He's uh, looking for a wife. Yeah, I really need a wife. Yeah, so he's five foot two. Mm hmm. Five hundred pounds. Mm hmm. Wears diapers. Mm hmm. And he's ready to marry. I'm ready to marry right now. Okay. It's been a long time since I've done anything with anyone, and I really want someone. Okay, that's it. See you guys. Bye. Oh fuck, we forgot to oh, do wait. contact. Is there a phone. number? Oh no. Uh, no. Uh, but we didn't oh, get. Uh, no, no, we're good. Okay. Okay. Bye guys. Bye. Hi, hi, hi. How are you doing? Hi. Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah. Come closer. Come over here. Okay. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Uh, sorry. Why did you want to talk to me? Cause I think you're ugly. Oh, Jesus. Why did you, out of nowhere, you just told a stranger you think he's ugly? Okay, bye. Oh, bye. No, no. No, go away. Bye, no, bye. Bye. Go, no, go. Stop yelling. Go. You need to come back. Go. Go away. You called me ugly. Thanks for watching. You look ugly. Bye. TV. Yeah, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm look at me guy. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> yep, this isn't even a show. It's just a guy talking to you. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? That's a fun idea. It's just not even a TV show. It's just you and me. Coming up next time on Look At Me. I'm still here. Hi. <laughs> I'm still here and you're still special. This is not a TV show. Next time on Look At Me. Okay, okay, that, that last one was a TV show, but this time I'm really just a guy. I'm just a guy saying hi. <laughs> yeah, this is a good idea. Next time on Look At Me. Okay, uh, uh, okay, I, I, that's not a good look, the whole next time on thing. That, that made it look like a show, but look at it this way. I, 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 I love you, right? <laughs> I love you. I genuinely love you. Next time on Look At Me. I wanna fuck you, okay? Okay, you're looking at me again, right? Are you? I can't tell. It is a TV show and I can't tell. I can't tell if you're looking at me. That's the hardest part of this fucking show. Next time on Look At Me. Ah, I love you, okay? I said it, I, I already said it, but I mean, I said it and meant it this time. The other times I was just being a little skeezy, a little fucking weirdo, but this time I love you. Next time on Look At Me. I, I don't like being on a TV. People tell me to be on a TV because they say it's how it's supposed to be, but I don't like doing it. And you are the first thing I've seen that has made me feel like I'm doing something right. And I know that's a lot to put on you, but if you look away, I'm gonna commit murder homicide. Next time on Look At Me. Okay, you can look away now. Bye bye, I'm done, bye. Next time. Um, look at me. We have with us today the star of the new film Turtle Fuckers, uh, Jake Turtlefucker. <laughs> Sorry, is that your real name? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> coincidence that I had that name before I got the part in this movie, but yeah, I'm the star of the Turtle Fuckers film. Yeah, that's really incredible. Uh, this, this film is really turning a lot of eyes. A lot of people are really into it. It's, it's winning a lot of awards. How do you feel about all that? I mean, honestly, for me, I... Mostly just was excited to fuck the turtles. You just wanted to fuck the turtles, huh? And it wasn't even about the money or the fame for you. That's right. It was only about fucking the turtles. Were the turtles okay with being fucked? Oh my god, yeah. I, I added in my contract. I don't want to fuck any turtles that don't want to get fucked. Hey, That's is this the guy that fucked the turtles? Get him! 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 Get him
Oh no, oh fuck. I didn't realize there were people who were mad at me for this. Uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here so I don't get killed. And there you have it. Uh, Jake Turtlefucker has just left the building. Um, it looks like he's getting killed and that's actually fantastic news because uh, Jake is part of the religion where he believes that when you die, you pass on and you uh, go to the realm of pixie dust and fairy lands where everything's happy and nice and you can fuck all the turtles you want. It's a religious thing! You know, it sounds like it's a really the best of all worlds for him now that he's dead and he gets Hold to... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta go. I, I'll see you later. Jesus Christ, don't let screaming guys into the set anymore. <sighs> oh, okay. Ah! Oh, they keep... Oh, they keep shocking me because... That's what we sell here, our shock rods. And and they made me run a full mile before we, we could start to shoot. Ah! The, oh, the, okay, so we have the best shock rods, the most powerful, awful shock rods. Ah, that fucking shock you really bad. If you need to shock somebody or shock anyone else or shock yourself, if that's the thing, you, you, you gotta just come to us and like, oh, god damn, oh, fuck, oh, oh, I'm gonna, okay, all right, so uh, uh, just go to us and we'll, we'll go fill your shock rod needs. Oh, okay, j j just re check us out at www.shockcollaralienprotectionoffensive, making sure that people won't hurt you.com. Oh, if you, if you want to have prisoners, oh, no, I mean, if you want to have guests who are voluntarily there, that's what you, you go to that website. Okay, see ya. Hello. I'm Darren Mindbanger. Everyone, gather around. I'm about to do a really crazy trick. What? We can't hear you. I'm about to bang your mind. Um, Show me what's in your pocket. What, what are you doing? I will guess what's in your pocket. Get the fuck away from me. What, okay, what are you... I have a deck of cards. Get the fuck... And one you, of the cards you're... is marked with a signature. You're trying... You're like grabbing at me. My arms just kind of do whatever they want to do. Please go away. I'm... I'm Darren Mindbanger. Hey, uh... My name is Thomas Snitchnell. And I just want to say, I didn't kidnap that alien baby. The trial wasn't publicized, it wasn't on air, like nobody saw it. I, I was I was pronounced innocent, but nobody really saw it. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm buying these commercials to just make sure everyone knows I did not kidnap the alien baby. I did not do it. Uh, it was, it was uh, confirmed in the court of alien law. And uh, that's it. So, um, all right. Tonight on The Corpulent Gentleman. I do not recall <laughs> being at the scene of that accident. And quite frankly, I think it is uh, just an attack on uh, a free speech for Corpulent Gentleman. I can't wait to see what allegations are in store for me next time. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Oh, ho, ho, no. I booked all my dates for the same evening. Can I get some order? Can I get a side of order with this law? <laughs> How is a corpulent gentleman such as myself gonna get out of this one? <laughs> Does anybody have a lighter for my three cigars? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'll be right back. I gotta take a shit. <laughs> Ancient secrets revealed. Ancient secrets revealed. Ancient secrets revealed. They're secrets and they're ancient. And we're gonna reveal them. Just, just watch. Doors were invented in my backyard, but don't tell anyone. It's a secret. And here's another ancient secret. Hey, actually, actually, hold on. You uh, <laughs> can't reveal that secret. Oh. Not even this secret? No, I'm sorry, not that one, no. Come on, don't you want to just look at it for a second? I already know it, you just can't tell the people watching. Um, sorry, we gotta, we gotta cut this short. Oh, come on, man, I only got two secrets. Don't tell that one either, bye-bye. Bye, I love you. Hey, no, yeah, come right over here, come. Oh, what's up? Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah come, uh, a few steps more, come closer. All right. Now look over there. Oh, what's that? You see that? Is that a camera? Yeah, I made you a TV show, buddy. What? Yeah, you always wanted a TV show, didn't you? I've never said that. No, I don't want a TV show. Well, we got seven seasons, Dude. and you're going to be in all of them. It's called The Michael Show. Michael. And this is live right now? 
<laughs> yeah, this is live. Oh, man, you know how I get nervous. I'll leave you to it. Okay, bye, buddy. Bye-bye. All right. People really just watch this. People will just watch a, a guy just be himself. And the camera's going to follow me if I go get groceries. All right, well, here we go. Are you going to follow me when I go to the bathroom and stuff? Great. I mean, I have to go to the bathroom now, so... I know I'm walking, but I'm going to go in this restaurant here and just go to the bathroom. Here I am in the bathroom. Please don't follow me into the stall, because it's really small in there already. Well, you're in here now. Cool. Psst, psst. Hey, hey, Michael, it's me. What? Why are you, why are you in this bathroom? How's the Michael show going? I hate this. What? I hate this. I'm in the bathroom. Have you started peeing and pooping on camera? Yes. Well, the show's going great, buddy. Why would people want to watch this? People love this. They love you. They love you so much. Why? I'm just going to be here sniffing and listening to what you guys are doing in here. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to gonna wipe now. Still wiping. Hey, Michael. Yeah? Whatever you're doing, it's working, baby. The ratings, they're shooting up. They're skyrocketing. Whatever you're doing, do that and only that. Just keep doing that forever. All seven seasons, what you're doing right now. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Seven seasons, baby. See you, buddy. I'm not even... Okay, bye. I'm not even doing anything exciting. The Michael Show, every Friday on Jerk It Channel. Wait, did he just say I'm on the Jerk It channel? Next time on The Michael Show. The whole city is jerking off to your show, buddy. Let's go! I'm gonna buy you a nice panini later. Okay, bye-bye. What the fuck? Why are you guys watching this? me, I'm Jimmy Goofster. Welcome to another prank call show with me, the Goofster. Let's let's get our first prank caller on the line. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hi. Who is this? It's me, Jim Goofster. I'm the prank caller. Oh, uh, so you're prank calling me? Bingo, buddy, bingo. <laughs> what, 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 is your refrigerator going nuts over there? Is it what? Is your refrigerator going nuts? What do you mean? What are you asking me? Is my refrigerator going nuts? What does that mean? Oh, it's just like, is it sparking? Is it, is it falling apart? Is the door off the hinges? No, it's, <laughs> my fridge is fine, man. Okay, whoops. Hang it up now. <laughs> Whoa, all right, click. That was not a good one. Let's try one more silly prank phone call. Here we go. Ring, 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 ring. Hey, who's this? It's me, Jimmy Prankster, the... Sorry, Jimmy Goopster's my name. I got confused because I do so many prank phone calls. I called myself Jimmy Prankster by accident. All right. Um, <laughs> why are you calling me? To do a prank. Okay, that, yeah, that tracks, that tracks. What's, you know, you kind of ruined it by telling me you're going to do a prank. Whoopsies, my bad, hanging up, click. Okay, I'm not so good at this. I'm not having a good time. This is a bad episode. This one's really fucking going down the drain. All right, let's try another freaking silly ass prank call, prank phone call. Ring, 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 ring. Hey, uh, how you doing? Who is this? It's me. I'm the prank phone call guy from TV, Jimmy, Jimmy Goofster. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, give it to me. I, I can take it. I'm ready for like a good prank. Oh. Perfect, good, I got a good one for you. Um, <laughs> uh-oh, it's me, your doctor. You have cancer. Ah, ah. I, what the fuck are you doing, man? That's not a good prank. That's like a fucking, that's a, that's a mean prank. Like, if I fell for that, I would, that would tear me apart, man. I would, I don't want to have cancer. Oh, fuck, dude. You gotta get better at pranks. All right, and I'll try my best. Click. Okay, all right, I, I'm really losing confidence in my pranking abilities. Let's do another prank, though. Let's just hope we get this one right. Ring, 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 ring. Nobody's answering. <laughs> oh, fuck, all right. Ch ah, god damn it. Uh, I really thought they would answer the phone, and then we could do another prank, but we're out of time. That was it for the Jim Goofster Show. Uh, King of the Pranks. Everyone go fuck yourself. All right, 
Show's over. Stop watching it. Stop watching my prank show. I'm really bad at them, and now it's over. But you, you, you. Ah, God damn it! All right, one more prank. One more prank. Here we go. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, hello. Uh, who's this? It's me. Um, your dad. Oh, hey, Dad. Uh, I love you. I love you, too. I love you so much. I'm proud of you. You did a good job at baseball. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, um, you know, I've just been waiting a long time to hear those words from you. You're not really my dad, are you? You don't, you don't sound like my dad. I was playing along for a second, but you don't sound like my dad at all, and I, I'm smart. Oh, God damn it! just fucking, please, I need this. I need this to work, man. I've been doing shit pranks all day, and this one's my last shot. So just say you, you're, you, you got pranked. Say the goofster got you. Uh, the, okay, dude, Jesus, the, the goofster got me. <laughs> hey, good work. Thank God. All right, click. All right, you all saw that. I had a good prank. I had a really good one. That was one of the best ones I've ever done, actually. So let's go out on a high note. Show's really over now. Don't keep watching. The Goopsters still got it. Thank God. Oh my God. I I'm gonna level with you. If I didn't land that last prank, I was absolutely gonna jump in a bathtub with a toaster and just let electricity kill the shit out of me. And thank God I didn't fuck it up because now I can live to see another day and do more pranks. See you next week on Jimmy Goopsters Big Fat Prank Show. Mwah! Love you. Goodbye. Hi. 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 How are you doing? Hi. Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah. Come closer. Come over here. Okay. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Uh, sorry. Why did you want to talk to me? Because I think you're ugly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why did you, out of nowhere, you just told a stranger you think he's ugly? Okay. Bye. Oh, bye. No, no. No, go away. Bye. You, bye. You, bye. You, go. No. Go. Yo, Go! You need to come back! Go! You Go away! You called me ugly! Thanks for watching! You look ugly! Bye! Ancient secrets revealed! Ancient secrets revealed! Ancient secrets revealed! They're secrets and they're ancient! And we're gonna reveal them! Just, just watch! Doors were invented in my backyard, but don't tell anyone. It's a secret. And here's another ancient secret. Hey, actually, actually, hold on. You uh, <laughs> can't reveal that secret. Oh, not even this secret? No, I'm sorry, not that one, no. Come on, don't you want to just look at it for a second? I already know it. You just can't tell the people watching. Um, sorry, we gotta, we gotta cut this short. Oh, come on, man, I only got two secrets. Don't tell that one either. Bye-bye. Bye, love you. Welcome to Pepperoni P Palace. I'm Pete, the pepperoni salesman, and we are, we, today we have a great special. Get over here, oh, come on. Uh, I, I'd rather not, I'd rather not, I'm gonna go ahead and No, eat. get over here, sit down, eat the pepperonis, come on. Eat I'm shot, the, I'm uh, shopping, I'm my going pepperonis, on. I'm Papo the pepperoni no, boy. I, listen, I really, I know I, they don't I, look I, like pepperonis, they're very bizarre and strange looking, but just eat it. No, and, uh, I, I, stop, uh, you, you no, just have let, to eat let, it. Leave me be. Okay, hold on, hold on, before you leave. Let me just finish my commercial. I'm Papo. This is my pepperoni place. Eat the pepperonis. Stop. And here we are. And then now, are you tired of boogers clogging up your nose? Well, don't do it anymore. Get spaghetti in there instead. That's right, spaghetti nose. Why put spaghetti in your nose, people say. Why? 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 Here to demonstrate spaghetti nose, Susan. Um, it, it, uh, it's very painful. It feels really bad, and I, like, my boogers aren't that much of a problem. Thank you. Thank you for that. You have ruined our <laughs> public image. We are not affiliated with Noodle Nose. Noodle Nose are a bunch of <laughs> They took our ideas. Those <laughs> Spaghetti Nose. People pee. I'm gonna put me on pills, pellets, and putting, put everything in the, in the, in the, in my palette of pallets. 
I want to stop everything, you know, that's happening uh, for you. I don't care about me. It's for you. I'm Babel Beat. I'm people putting it. Put. I'm gonna put the pal 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 in the thing. Let me sh let me show you an example of what I have accomplished with one of my clients. Listen, this guy changed my life. I started out as like a weak, scared, fragile. And now, I, now I'm going around the super confident, you know, I don't have any pimples. Not that that's really sort of the thing. But anyway, yeah, it's great. That's right, I'm a bit bleed, and I'm gonna tell you what happens with, I, but dude, I, get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna be able to tap it though. So stop it and take a look at me uh, and I'll see you at my customer line. Hi everyone, this is, uh, this is the bad TV show. It's a TV show that's not good. Um, the whole idea here is that it's just nothing good happens on it. All right, well, I'm the main character. My name's Poobus. It's P-O-O-B-U-S. It's not a good name, but nothing about this show is good, so uh, don't know why you would have expected it to be good. I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit, and uh, you know, it's not, a, it's not good. It's not entertaining to watch, but it's, uh, it's right there on the, the tin. It's the bad TV show, not a good one. Okay, um, maybe next I'll just sort of not talk for a little bit. I'll just stand here. It won't be good when I do that, but uh, you know, I'm just gonna do it anyway. And you know, we gotta wrap this up pretty quick because if it goes on too long, it starts getting into that like anti-comedy thing and actually it becomes good. So, you know, we're probably gonna end the show pretty soon. So, don't, uh, don't start raving to your friends about how, how, how avant-garde this is or anything. It's not. It's just, uh, I'm standing here being boring. <sighs> yep, my name's Pubis. And, uh, you yeah. know, I don't even wanna move. I'm just gonna stand silently. Here comes my friend, uh, Greenbo. Greenbo, how you doing? Hey! I'm doing great. I'm uh, actually having a very good day. I found a 20 peso bill on the ground. Oh, that's that's really cool. Um, anything else happened to you? No, no, just this 20 peso bill thing. That's it. Anything, like, exciting coming up in your life? Anything... You know, sad maybe happened to you? Any, anything just uh, that's not baseline boring. Well, no, I thought the 20 peso thing was kind of exciting. You know, maybe more exciting than this show usually gets. So I, I just figured I'd share that. But nothing else, really. Nothing sad, nothing happy. Just normal. Okay, yeah, well, um, see you later, Greenbo. Have a good day. All right, well, I will. I'll try my best. Might be a, might be a bad day. Most likely just going to be a neutral one, though. Not good, not bad. Well, you know, um, this is the bad show, so if it's neutral, that's still actually pretty good for what we're aiming for. Well, it's too bad uh, I'm not really a big part of the show. I'm just this one segment. So, see ya. Alright, well, uh, thanks everyone for watching the bad show, the bad TV show. It's not good. Alright? I love you. Goodbye. I built a huge town! This town is giant! We got buildings, we got banks, we got more banks! Problem is, we ain't got people! I built a town with no one in it! And now we're offering everybody a complimentary 10 pesos to come and stand around the town to make it look like there's people here! I don't know why I built this town, I just wanted to do it! And now we got an empty town with no god dang people in it! So Come on down to my big old big town and stand around and make it look like there's people here. Cause my dad is disappointed. My dad is so disappointed in me. He saw me build this town and he said, that town's never gonna have people in it. And he was right. There's no people in this town. Please come here and stand around my town so when I wheel my dad in his wheelchair, he would say, oh wow, wait, there actually are people in this town. You didn't waste your life. Please come to my town. Are you tired of boogers clogging up your nose? Well, don't do it anymore. Get spaghetti in there instead. 
That's right, spaghetti nose. Why put spaghetti in your nose, people say. Why, why, why? Here to demonstrate spaghetti nose, Susan. Um, it, it, uh, it's very painful. It feels really bad and I, like, my boogers aren't that much of a problem. Thank you. Thank you for that. You have ruined our <laughs> public image. We are not affiliated with Noodle Nose. Noodle Nose are a bunch of ass. They took our ideas. Nose Spaghetti Nose. This month's at Grizzy Felson's Joke Hole. Zubles, what's the deal with those airplane snacks? <laughs> He is a huge comic person. Hey, whoa! Whoa, what's the deal with knobs? I mean, wah, 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 wah. You ever try to buy oranges and all they have is uh, watermelons? <laughs> He's the funniest guy you've ever seen and his sitcom's a huge hit on the one channel you watch. Oh my God, that guy's jokes were fucking awful, but his body made me laugh so hard. I'd go back. I don't think the comedian was very funny, but uh, I did really get a few laughs out of watching his body. I couldn't believe it. I went there as a skeptic. I left as a believer. Oh my God. I came there, I grunted, I was angry faced, but he got me. You better be laughing at my jokes. I'm not an animal. I'm a flimpy dimpy doo. You can only see him this month at Grizzles Hootin's Joke Hole. Hello, I'm Darren Mindbanger. Everyone, gather around. I'm about to do a really crazy trick. What? We can't hear you. I'm about to bang your mind. Um, Show me what's in your pocket. What, what are you doing? I will guess what's in your pocket. Get the fuck away from me. What, okay, what you... I have a deck of cards. Get the fuck. And one of the cards yeah. is marked with a signature. You're trying, you're like grabbing at me. My arms just kind of do whatever they want to do. Please go away. I'm, I'm daring my banger. This month's at Grizzy Felson's Joke Hole. Zubles. <laughs> What's the deal with those airplane snacks? <laughs> he is a huge comic person. Hey, whoa! Whoa, what's the deal with knobs? I mean, wah, 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 wah. you ever try to buy oranges and all they have is uh, watermelons? <laughs> He's the funniest guy you've ever seen, and his sitcom's a huge hit on the one channel you watch. Oh my god, that guy's jokes were fucking awful, but his body made me laugh so hard, I'd go back. I don't think the comedian was very funny, but uh, I did really get a few laughs out of watching his body. I couldn't believe it. I went there as a skeptic, I left as a believer. Oh my god. I came.